Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 7. Use benchmark fractions to compare and order. Page number is 523. Guys, as you know that we already compared and ordered the fractions in the last lesson and we were comparing by making the denominator same or by making the numerator same or uh, by LCM or there was another way I told you to uh, use the butterfly rule cross multiplication okay now in this lesson we will compare and order the fractions by using the benchmark fraction what is a benchmark fraction like half we will compare each fraction that either it is equal to half or more than half or greater than half. How we'll compare? Let's take this first example. See this one, the first example, 5 over 8 and 1 over 6. Now we'll compare both of these fractions by half. Half means what? Half of the denominator. 2, its half is what? 1 okay now this one is what 8 its half is what 4 but we have 5 here it means more than 4 more than half similarly here 6 its half is 3 but the numerator is 1 okay let's say we have 1 over 1 out of 6 cups and its half is what? 3 out of 6. So this fraction is less than less than half. Similarly, this one, 5 over 8, its half is what? Its half is 4. 4 over 8. Half of the denominator, guys. Okay? Half of the denominator is what? 4. 4 out of 8. And this is 5 over 8. So this one is more than half. So 5 over 8 is more than half and 1 over 6 is less than half. Here, 5 over 8 more than half and 1 over 6 is less than half. So 5 over 8 is greater than 1 over 6. Similarly, if you see this one, we are comparing three fractions now. What is the half of 8? 4. And we have 7. So this fraction, first one, it is more than half. This one, it's already half, equal to half. And this one, the half of 3 is 1.5, 1 1 and a half. But this is just 1. So it is less than half. So this one is less than half. This one is equal to half. And this one is more than half. So this one is the smallest fraction, 1 over 3. And then equal to half. And then more than half. Similarly here, guys, we'll compare these two. 4, the denominator is 4. Its half is 2, but we have 3. It means more than half. Here, this is equal to half. So 3 over 4 is more than half. 3 over 6. The half of 6 is 3. Yes, it is equal to half. And this one, the half of 4 is 2, but we have 3. So... It's more than half. So this fraction is greater than 3 over 6 because this one is equal to half and this one is more than half. Okay. See guys, we can compare this fraction in another way also. The numerators are same. And when the numerators are same, we compare through the denominators. The greater the denominator is the least fraction. So 6 is greater it means this fraction is less. Let's move to the next page. This is independent practice. Guys, you have to solve all these questions by yourself, comparing the fractions using the benchmark fraction like this. Half of 5 is around 2.5. But this is 4, more than half. And three half of 3 is 1.5, but this is 1. So it is less than half, so this fraction is greater. Similarly, you will do all these examples by yourself 
and then match your answers from this video. Here you have three fractions. You have to order them from least to greatest. The smallest one first, less than half, because half of eight is four, but this is just one. Then equal to half, and then half of four is two, and this is three, more than half. So this is the greatest one. A recipe calls for half teaspoon of salt and one over four. The half of four is two, but this is just one. So this is equal to half, and this is less than half. So half teaspoon of salt. This is which fraction is greater? Half. Sarah ran 3 over 4 miles on Saturday. 3 over 4 means more than half because half of 4 is 2. And half mile on Sunday. This is more than half. So Saturday. A blanket is made up of 7 over 10 yards of red fabric and 1 third yard of blue fabric. So half of 10 is 5 and this is 7. More than half. And this is less than half because half of 3 is 1.5 and this is just 1. So, red fabric. Similarly, these three questions in Brain Builder. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.